Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to jump on here, especially for those of you who are um, who have received a mini kit from me for free. Uh, I wanted to show you guys how to use the um, uh, the oils. <laughs> Um, so everyone who received a mini kit from me, what you should have received is a really neat little cap that had this little roller fitment thing in there. You should have received an empty bottle of essential oil, okay, with a white cap on it. Um, and then you should have received a little dropper bottle like this. It said carrier oil on it, and this is organic fractionated coconut oil. Uh, and then you've got a whole bunch of little mini bottles of essential oil. And so what you're gonna do to make yourself a roll-on is you can kind of like look at the oils that you have and if you want to, message me. Um, and kind of figure out which ones, um, like what you wanna make a recipe of, okay? Uh, and so for each different oil, you might have a different purpose. So I'm gonna show you guys how I made a little roll-on using um, Joy, okay? So here's a couple of really cool hacks. So first trick is how do you get this uh, plastic thing off of your empty bottle, okay? Now for me, um, I think this coolest trick is you take your lid, you put it on, don't twist it, just put, place it on there. Hey Ethel, and then you turn it, hold it, kind of like bend it at a 45 degree angle and it pops that lid right out of there. Isn't that cool? So that's how you're gonna get that lid out of your bottle, okay? So one more time, you just place it on here, 45 degree angle, pops it out, okay? So what you're gonna do is once you decide what oil you wanna put into your newly empty and um, lidded bottle, you go ahead and pick out what oil you're gonna use. I'm actually using Joy, uh, cause I'm just refilling my Joy to the world roll on. And then you're gonna take your dropper, so you'll pinch with your dropper, okay? And based on the recipe that you talk with me about, um, we'll come up with a recipe for you and you're gonna add your drops of oil to the empty bottle. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I only want 10 drops in here. Okay, a little goes a long way with these essential oils. All right, so uh, that's gonna be a joy to the world roll on. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your carrier oil bottle and based on your recipe, and I'll talk to you, you're gonna look at your bottle, maybe hold it up to the light and you're gonna fill it up with carrier oil, okay? And just squirt it in there, see? Squirt's really fun. And you fill it up to wherever I tell you. So for some of you, I might say just do about half of the bottle with carrier oil. Others of you, I might say go ahead and fill it to the top. Um, others of you, I might just say add just a little bit. So it all depends on how much essential oil you're putting in here because you are going to be diluting that essential oil. And so here's a fun fact for you about dilution. When you actually dilute an essential oil, it's actually not changing its effectiveness. A lot of people think like, well, I don't wanna dilute it and then it's not gonna help my body as well. And that's actually not true. Um, the science behind dilution and the science behind essential oils is this. The essential oil molecules are very, very tiny, which is why I can take this bottle of Joy and I can take some of that oil and I can rub it on my arm right here, okay? Has a little bit of shine, but it's gonna absorb into my skin. It'll be in my bloodstream in 26 seconds just smelling it, it's in my limbic system of my brain in four seconds, okay? So that essential oil is gonna absorb very quickly. Now, same thing, I can take the fractionated coconut oil, right? Rub it on my skin here, and you can see one's a lot shinier than the other. The reason why is essential oil molecules are very, very tiny, and then carrier oil, fatty oil molecules, like olive oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, um, sweet almond oil, they're all much larger, okay? And so those larger molecules get in the way. So when those small molecules wanna absorb into the body, they can't get in as quickly because they've gotta push their way through the big fat molecules. And so that's actually the science behind um, essential oils being diluted. It's not that they're lowering the strength of the oil, it's just slowing down the process of it being absorbed into your body. All right, guys, so the very last step in our roll-on was to put that roller fitment right on here, which I think some of you guys saw me do that. So once you filled it with your oil, you put your roller fitment on, you can either push it on with your fingers. If it doesn't want to go in easily like mine just did, you take your cap, screw your cap on, nice and tight and it locks it on there, okay? And then I sent each one of you guys a label as well. Go ahead and take a Sharpie and write on that Sharpie what oil and what recipe it was that we created for you. <clears throat> And then um, you'll have extra carrier oil. And then once you write that on the bottle, you'll know exactly what's in your roll-on. 
Another little trick before you put your label on is you take some rubbing alcohol, so some isopropyl alcohol, or if you wanna use vodka, whatever, and if you take it and you wipe down your oil bottle before you put the label on, it'll help that label stay on better because sometimes we spill and we get some oil on the outside of the bottle and no one's gonna judge anybody for that. Um, but the uh, alcohol actually helps keep everything clean, okay? So for those of you who received a free mini kit, this is how you make your roll-on. So go ahead and shoot me a message now that you've watched this video and let's get a recipe figured out for the oils that you received in your free kit.